I love hunting Tanzania simply for one reason. It honestly is the best hunting destination in all of Africa. No place has the diversity of game, the diversity of territories and country and scenery, and certainly no place has the, the diversity of hunting safari operators that does Tanzania. Well, it's nice to finally get to camp. Uh, we're here in Nyanga in uh, western Tanzania. Uh, it's been a long trip getting here, of course, but uh, you know, sometimes good things take a while to materialize. All those things combined to me makes Tanzania without any question still the number one safari destination in all of Eastern and Southern Africa. The advantage of hunting with a, a company like Kill and Barrel North Safaris is they have the ability to offer the hunting client uh, most of what Tanzania itself has to offer to the big game safari hunter. Kill and Barrel North is run and operated and owned by Akram Aziz, a very conservation minded owner and operator. It has a wonderful staff, it has great areas, I've been to numerous areas that they have under, under lease. Uh, they offer some of the very best hunting that Tanzania has in exclusive areas, wild, pristine, loads of game. The pHs are very professional. It's without question one of the very best operations that I've ever been a part of in Tanzania, and it certainly has the incredible dangerous game hunting opportunities that I'm looking for. Got another buffalo. That's always fun. Here in Tanzania, you get to shoot three buffalo on license, so we've got this one and we've still got, we've still got one more. Well, Tanzania offers probably what we would all consider to be the greatest opportunity left in safari hunting in all of Africa. Certainly from the diversity of the areas and probably more importantly the diversity of the species that are available. The advantage of hunting with a, a company like Kill and Barrel North Safaris is that they have a wide variety of areas throughout the, the country of Tanzania. Maybe one of the very greatest treasures that they have is their Lake Natron area. Uh, you know, beautiful in scenery. Uh, the rare opportunity to hunt the mountain buffalo, the huge leopards of Mount Kit and Benny. Things like that are a rare opportunity. And of course, the Maasai land species, uh, Garanook and Lesser Kudu. And certainly when considering a, a Tanzanian safari hunting destination, uh, it's pretty rare that you're going to find a company, an outfitting operation that has the diversity of areas and game species that does Kill and Barrel North safaris and also has somebody like Akram Aziz and the PHs that will not only look after you as a hunting client, but look after the areas, protect the game, manage for long-term wildlife resource sustainability. Those are all the reasons why I choose Kill and Barrel North Safaris for most of my Tanzanian hunting, and, uh, and I believe most people should consider doing the same.
Tanzania is rivaled by nobody. Uh, still to this day on a 21 day license, you can shoot three buffalo. You know, lion and leopard are plentiful. It has without a doubt the largest wild lion population of any country in southern or eastern Africa. Other dangerous game animals that we like to consider as such, the hippo, the crocodile, and places like the Salu in particular. One of the hunts that definitely stands out in my mind uh, when my last experience with Kill and Barrel North Safaris was, uh, was my hippo. Um, certainly we're after hippo because we're trying to get lion bait. Uh, they make a great bait, they're a big animal, but they are considered a dangerous game animal and they can be quite a challenging hunt uh, if in the right situation. We're gonna try to get an early start this morning. It's early, but we gotta get out there. Got the zebra up here, just a couple hundred yards behind that tall grass. It provides the opportunity to see and do things and hunt species that, uh, in one safari, that often can't be done uh, in, in other places. Wonderful sable, roan, sesame. I mean, go on down the list. Uh, Tanzania has uh, East African eland. I mean, the East African impala, one of the largest. Classic turn down curl here. And he's thick up here. You can see he's all worn down on the sides. What a beautiful animal. Is there hardly a better, more beautiful animal in Africa than the sable? That's exciting. That's exciting. Thanks, man. I thought he's gonna go for it, but I did too. He's go for it. Go for it. Go and get a drink. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And what I was worried about is he was gonna go yeah. and disappear. Just disappear. Yeah. Certainly is no, uh, you know, no slouch. It's a wonderful, wonderful consolation prize, and I'm really happy.
soon as she moved out of the way, I put it low on his chest. Probably went 30 yards down. Perfect front on shot. We just needed that cow to move out of the way. Wow. My friend, that thing is a smoker. We're about uh, probably three quarters of a mile from the bait right now in the blind. We're gonna go in there. We literally just heard the lion roaring, so he's definitely around there somewhere. We'll just have to see if he comes out and shows himself this morning, but uh, we gotta get in there, so let's get going. Dangerous game hunting is what I love doing most, and lion hunting in particular. And that's exactly why I chose Kilimbaro North Safaris for my most recent Tanzanian hunting adventure. Been 15 days with Dean. You know, you get to you get to experience things like this with people that become your good friends, and it's never it's never anything but a really special experience when you get a chance to come to a place like Tanzania and uh, experience something like this and hunt a lion and. You know, we finally have got the right lion in the right situation, knowing he's old enough, knowing he's the right one. Uh, he didn't even get, you know, he didn't go uh, 15 yards from where I shot him. So, <sighs> that was a deal. Yeah. biggest mine but he's the oldest no it? that's the right way to do it that's exactly right that's what we talked about you know we know that other lion had a much bigger fuller mane but we also feel like he was at and least uh, two years younger than this guy no this is the one you want yeah you know to kind of get a control of our emotions here which you know hasn't been easy for the last 15 minutes of course we've been excited when the guys got here they were outrageously excited uh, I think they were laying odds on whether or not we could actually kill a lion with a bow, they didn't seem to think it was even possible. This is the lion. This is the lion we came for. You know, uh, killed him cleanly and quickly, uh, probably 30 seconds and he was, he was out. Uh, we figure he's seven to eight years old. You know, we looked at four different lions. Uh, Dean and I talked a lot about him. We've actually been watching this guy for four days. So I think we did a very good uh, ethical, conservation-minded lion hunt. 
And I think if done right, as we've said many times, there should be no reason that anybody should be lobbying against this. Uh, it is the thing to do to protect these areas, to protect the wildlife, to help employ these guys and everybody else that is employed in the camps and, and that the company employs. And, and you know, there's, there's a lot of viability to conservation-minded hunting and lion hunting included. With all that said, I'm thrilled to be sitting here in front of what I consider to be one of the greatest, to me, probably the greatest trophy that I have ever taken. And I'm just, I'm, I'm very happy and very thrilled.